All right. Uh, so today lecture. So I believe you already download all the data set uh, in my website, right? So we're going to use uh, data set number two, which is uh, subsetting data, right? Charm City Circulation Ridership. So make sure you you download this data and put into your desktop, right? And make sure you you set your working directory to your desktop, right? Set WD. So make sure you have your data set on your desktop, which is uh, Charm City Circulation, uh, Circulator Ridership, lah. right? So I just send it, I don't want to eh? eh? Okay, so make sure you have a Charm City Circulator uh, ridership on your desktop. Lah. So, and then you need to make sure your current working directory is your desktop. Right, so we are on the same page, lah, right? So, today we're going to learn about uh, subsetting data. Uh, please remember last uh, lecture, we already learned uh, the introduction to R, right? Uh, what is uh, uh, indexing? And what is the object of R, how to combine uh, by column, combine by row, right? And what is the data frame, I mean, what is the difference between data frame and table, right? And then we also learn how to import the data from CSV file, text file, right? Excel, SPSS and so on. And we also learn how to, to export data to CSV file, right? Remember? So, uh, for today object objective, uh, we're going to learn a select specific element of the data in the data frame, renaming a column of data frame, uh, subsetting rows of data frame, subsetting columns of data frame, add or remove a column, or which is a column, in this case, we are referring to variable. Right, sorting variable or observation of the data frame, introduction to a dplyr package, and practice on the real data set. So before we start, I require you to install package with name as dplyr. So this is a dplyr package. So I, I want you to install this uh, package. And once you already install, you can call the library dplyr. Right, deploy package. So make sure you call the library deploy package. So now let's look at the first one, which is select specific element unique index. This is uh, just a re revision or based on the last lecture. We already learned how to uh, select uh, observation in a vector uh, using index, right? We often, or often we only want to look a subset of data uh, at any given time. For a start, let's say we look into an element of R object using a bracket, right? Square bracket. Let's say I, I create a new a vector which is containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until 10. Lah. Right? So I have x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The length of x is 10. We have 10 element. So let's say we want to select a second element in second element in x. So we just put x bracket 2. So we're going to select a second element. So let's say we want to select uh, 
second element and fifth element in x so how are we going to do that x square bracket c 2 and 5 so we're going to select element number 2 and element, of element number 5 right so let's say this is just a revision so yeah syndicate revision before we go into deep right uh, and then uh, if you want to subsetting by deletion of entries means that uh, let's say you want to drop drop uh, element number two second element right second element in x so we're going to do x negative two so we're going to drop second element in x right uh, let's say we want to drop three cases uh, which is uh, element number two uh, drop uh, second third and fourth elements in x so how we're going to do that x negative c two three and four so we're going to drop element number two a uh, second element third and fourth element right so this is just a revision on on how to use indexing right so this is a classical or conventional way to to select an element in in our object so let's say we look into the second part which is select specific element using logical operator right. still remember logical operator means equal less than right we cannot use the single equal we need to use equal equal less than more than more than equal less than equal right so let's say let's look at the, the element in x so we have uh, 1 and 10 so let's say we want to find x more than 2 so we're going to produce uh, the, the output true or false value right true means that the value is more than 2 which is 3 4 5 and 6 and uh, 10 false means uh, 1 and 2 lah so we uh, in practical way we don't want the r give us the this this type of output lah we want r to display the real element in x so we're going to use indexing uh, characteristic which is a square bracket to uh, to to process with the logical operators so x x more than 2 so we're going to produce the, the numbers or element that we want right so and then uh, we already learned about n function and logical operator and or which is uh, this stroke bracket right so let's say we want to uh, we want to select x more than 2 and less than 5 so how are we going to do that Still remember? Ingat lagi kah? Hey. Why you all keep quiet? Still remember? So, Hani Sajwani, how are we going to do this? X? Right. Right. Yes. This is the correct one, lah. So this is how we're going to select x more than two and less than five. So let's say we want to select uh, x more than five or n x equal to two. So together with x is equal to two. So the same procedure is x more than five. And then we're going to use uh, or operator. So x equal equal to 2. So we're going to select more than 5 and 2. Right. So this is basically uh, just a revision on to remind you right, uh, about indexing and logical operator. Now let's look at the real problem in this subsetting data. 
right so basically we in analyzing data we are dealing with a data set right we're not dealing with the object or vector only so that's why we need to know how to subset or select an elements in in a data set so let's say we look at the data frame right so we call a data let's say uh, we just try instead of importing the data let's try to look at the available data set in r so we just type data with a bracket so this one is to see the list of available data set in r right so there is a list of variable uh, a data set such as a app passenger bg sales uh, bod right if you type bod here so it will show the data set right let's say you type b and a s e which is elsa sa with the dna so it will show you a data set right so there are a lot of data set available so we need to pick one let's say i'm going to show you empty cars data set which is a uh, moto trend car road test so empty cars you just type empty cars it will show you the data set lah. so we need to understand what is the the definition of each variable mpg cyl disp right so we just type question mark empty cars so it will show you the documentation of the data set so the description of the data set is uh, the data was extracted from 1974 motor trend us magazine right so it has 10 aspect of automobile design and performance for 32 mobiles automobiles so let's look at the dimension of empty cars so we have 32 observation which is 32 uh, cars lah from 1973 to 74 models so this is the description mpg means that miles per gallon cyl means number of cylinders disp displacement in uh, hp is gross pa uh, horsepower and so on lah so vs is a uh, basically if you look at this uh, documentation explanation this guy's name engine vs means engine shape lah, uh, which, uh, whether it's a v shape or straight shape uh, am means transmission automatic or manual right so basically these two variables should be a categorical variable lah. so if you look at the structure of empty cars right it shows that all the variable are numerical that's why we, this is very important step you need to identify the data set and the data type of the variables in the data set so we need to make sure am and vs is should be a categorical variable which is should be factor so now uh, let's uh, let's store empty cars into data one object right so if you if i doing any manipulation so i will not interrupt or adjust or modify the original data so i want to preserve the original data in the r environment so let's say data one so equal to empty cars right so if you look into environment so data one is already uh it's a copy of empty car data set lah is the same uh, data set so data, data one so you can dapat benda yang sama lah right so what is uh, last time we already look into tables right remember tables so data frame this is a data frame format data one right if you look into str data one this is a data frame right so data frame kalau you letak data one so dia akan close semua dia akan print semua data yang ada dalam data one lah right so if you want to convert it to set uh, the data frame as table so we just need to use a library name as table right so 
if you already download or install the plier package so you don't need to install table because it came together with the table package right so let's say i just put tbl2 equal to uh, s underscore table right data one so if you call the tbl2 so it only shows you a portion of the data right only 10 observation means that head of uh, table 2 lah, right so it, it is a table format it's not a data frame format so later on we will see uh, what is the difference between uh, table and, and let's see let's let look at look, look now let's say we want to use we want to select uh, mpg right so to select mpg using uh, data frame data one so let's say we can use indexing right so remember when you are dealing with the uh, data frame you need to consider two part here which is the first part is your row right row number and cut second part is column number right so let's say I want to select all rows right all rows with uh, for column number one which is mpg right it will show us the value or observation for each uh, for mpg lah, for variable mpg so if you don't like the this the variable name you just type one so benda yang sama juga right this is a variable number one right so if you cannot identify which type or which uh, number of that variable you just can you can type the name of the variable it says cyl so it will show the value or element in cyl right so the difference between data frame this is a data frame format right so it will show all the data element in uh, like this in, with this presentation so let's say we want to select um, CYL juga based for table format so let's say CYL so it will not showing you uh, on a white format it will show you in term of table lah dalam bentuk data frame this is more convinced uh, convenient to see uh, your element in the data set lah right so this is the difference between data frame and tables so let's look at the next agenda which is uh, renaming uh, columns or variable in data frame so let's say uh, to see the name of the variable names so we just type names data one right so we can see all the name variable names in the data set so the first data the first column is mpg second variable is cyl and so on lah. so let's say uh, we want to convert convert all variable names in to uppercase so now if you look at the original variable name semua ni dalam bentuk lowercase right so we can convert is to uh, to uppercase by use the call names call name means that uh, column names data one so we can put function to upper call names data one so if you look at the data name for data one so it's already converted to the upper cases right so we can reset back wait we can reset back uh, to lower cases to convert all variable names to lower case so same step call names data one so instead of using two upper we use a two lower two lower uh, function call names data one so we can see here uh, names of data one is already 
converted to lower cases right so this is a uh, just introduction so we can rename the variable so in this case we are renaming to upper and lower cases so let's say i want to change uh the current uh, names is uh, in the lower cases right mpg cyl and so on so let's say i want to change uh, some of the variable names so let's say i want to change mpg right mpg instead of uh, just mpg i just want to change it to mpg2 right so to rename the first variable from mpg to mpg2 right so we just need to use the call names uh, function data1 so now to give instruction to r which variable that we want to rename right so we just use a bracket right square bracket means indexing so let's say variable number one so we just change the name like that lah mpg2 right so if you look at the variable name now so it's already changed it to mpg2 right boleh faham eh? so this is how we uh, change the variable names right so changing the variable name is very important uh, when the variable name is not very clear or it's too long right so you can do a uh, data manipulation very fast okay so let's say we want to change more than one let's say to rename uh, the first uh, three variable right let's say call names uh, data one this is variable number one until the variable number three, right? So we can use C. Uh, the first one is MPG. Let's say I put MPG capital letter, right? And then the CYL capital letter, and the third name is DISP, displacement engine, right? So now you can see the data names of data one is already changed to capital letter lah, right so to reset back let's say we need to reset back just buat macam biasa lah sama juga mpg cyl and disp right boleh so this is uh, based on base package you no need to have any uh, outside packages installed right so let's look at let's say this is uh, option one lah we click at option one and base packages right so let's say let uh, look at into option two using the plier package so basically you need to call a library the plier package so uh Library just you, you just need to call one time only lah. Tak perlu call banyak kali. Just uh, for this uh, case, I want to emphasize to you uh, this one is going to require a uh, deployer package, right? So in deployer package, we have a function name rename, right? So let's look at rename function, right? So rename function. So change the name of individual variable, new names to all names uh, sorry from from the old names to the new names so nampak tak dia punya susunan dia tu right the old name should be on the right hand side the new name should be on the left hand side right that's why this is very important when you want to use any function in r you need to look into the documentation right so the requirement is new names equal to old names yang nama yang lama Old name should be on the right hand side. New name should be on the left hand side. So how to use it? So you tunjuk dekat sini. Rename Iris Petal Lang 
petal dot length. You see, this is a uh, old names. So in this is a new names, right? So now, let look at uh, let store this one as a df. Uh, rename beta one. So uh, let look at the variable names. Current variable names is mpg with small letter, small letter again. Okay? So let's say I want to change it to capital letter right mpg right so let's look at the names of df so it already changed it to mpg so what if you want to change more than one right let's say cyl ataupun uh, dekat sini ya you nak it tak nak ikut stereotype you nak tukar suka-suka hati yang lain-lain let's say i copy this one rename mpg so this one is already done kan so kita uh, I tak pay buat this one let's say uh, CYL this is a new one CYL equal to CYL and then uh, let's say uh, gear right gear G E A R equal to gear right so names the DF so notice that you can change without any sequence so tak perlu ikut sequence lah you boleh change ke mana-mana you suka let's say this is CYL I dah tukar and then gear I already change it right so now I want it to be a uh, normal rename kita one mpg equal to mpg CYL equal to CYL and gear equal to gear oops Hmm. Oh, dia dah tukar Ni this one uh, tak boleh kan Sebab ni, this is a small letter kan Yang kita tukar saja CYL dengan gear So this is not involved Right, so Alright Oh, this is DF, right MPG mpg so remember tadi i guna data df kan oh. eh what happen ah kejap ah tengok balik names df so dah tukar lah this is already changed ok mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's but uh, this is the problem why because uh, on the second step dekat sini I guna data data 1 I tak guna df right so that's why dia tak combine right so, but uh, doesn't matter kita tengok sini semula df I tukar mpg to capital letter so the second step is uh, I tukar uh, df the same data set with uh, capital mpg ni I tukar tambah lagi so kita dah nampak dekat sini cyl mpg gear Dah tukar kepada uh, capital letter. And this one is mpg equal to mpg. Right. So names df. Right. It changed to back to normal. Okay. Boleh faham tak? This one. This step okay boleh faham. Eh? Very simple. Uh, slowly I teach you. So you, uh, I hope you understand. So. Now, tadi kita dah tengok sikit, just want to formalize the, the the lecture. So, subset column or variable, right, of a data frame. So, instead of uh, using bracket, tadi kita belajar guna bracket kan. Let's say you want to call a data, tadi I tunjuk dekat you. Uh, if you want to call it CYL, dekat sini dia akan tunjuk CYL macam ni kan. Right, this is, um, let's say we want to show data 1, right, with uh, with a dollar sign, NPG. So, it will show the same process, data 1, right, NPG. Right, benda yang sama. You have many option to call the data. To call the variable observation, right? So, or you can call data one 
instead of putting the variable name you just put one which is uh, representing mpg so it will show an mpg variable so you can call many uh, data let's say i want to call let's say kita tengok names of data data one let's say i want to call mpg cyl and deplacement right so i just put data one so if you want to use a dollar sign dollar sign only can cater for single variable so if you want to call many variables right so we need to use uh, indexing method so let's say call all variables right uh, for uh, mpg cyl and deplacement right don't forget the bracket if you forget one bracket it will not show the uh, the value right so in r remember last uh, lecture i already show you the function head right head data one remember head function head and tail tail means that we show you the six last six observation right so a new version of r let's say you have a version oops version my version is 4.1.0 right your version is 4.1.1 right so starting from 4.1.0 r have a new function called as piping right piping is uh, adapted from a margarita package so margarita package nanti kita akan tengok margarita package uh, in in r but uh, r base is already adapting a margarita package uh, function called as piping so now notice here so since i want to sh i want to call these three variables right so if you understand uh, recall this data set have a 32 observation right what if you have a 1000 observation or millions observation so it will show all the data in your console it will take a lot of your memory right so that's why there is a function called as head so we can see first six observation or first 10 observation in a data set or tail function we can see all a uh, six last observation uh, in the data set so we can put head here right to show only 10 of six observation you can come we can put comma 10 you can show 10 first observation right but by you doing this right it will make out uh, your coding more complicated lah. so that's why r is making uh, adaption of a new function known as piping so the piping function in r is stroke more than so you can put head with a bracket so we show only head of these three variable All right let's say head 10 so it will show 10 first observation of this three variable this is a, just an additional information lah. right so if you don't want to to know this then uh, you will you need to do a lot of coding right so there is a, a more organized coding here lah. so next is um, this is um, by using option one uh, option one by using base package right so let's look at the second option right still the same function the same uh, uh, procedure we want to select some variables right so by using the plier package right so by using the plier package we, there is a function known as select right select so let's look at the documentation of select select is subset column using their names and types right so select an optional need rename a variable in the data, data frame using concise mini language that 
makes it easy to refer to variable based on their names right so how to use it so let's say uh, uh, this is a way to use lah. okay star wars they menggunakan data star wars they, they select height right so the or the uh, function will be select dot data dot 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 means that uh, one or more unquoted expression separated by commas right this is a variable names can be used as if they were they work position in the data frames right right so let's say uh, i want to select data one uh, only mpg oops So it will show you MPG. So let's say you want to select uh, data one, MPG, CYL, and replacement. Right? We just type the variable name after the data set, the data data set name. Right? So it will select all the uh, variable. Let's say we can put the piping function as well. Hit. Right? It will show some. Uh, first six observation right so this is a second option by using reply package for me personally uh, reply package is more convenient compared to the original base package right so base package is require some indexing right uh, so you need to do uh, indexing but this is very useful when you want to do a subsetting on rows right Nanti kita tengok subset rows macam mana. Okay. Let's say uh, number 6. Subset. Tadi kita tengok subset rows. Uh, subset column lah. Kita set subset row or observation in data frame. Right. So now. Let's say we want to select select row 1 and 3 in the data set for all variable. Right? So we are using data 1. Um, see, this is uh, option 1. Uh, option 1 base package. So let's say we use uh, data 1. So we, use, we are using uh, indexing so first row and the third row and the last one the column kita nak select semua so we make it blank so it will select all variables for first row and third row only right let's say we want to put more than one let's say uh, data one one two five mean row number one until row number five with all variables so they can select row one, row number one until row number five for all variables. Let's say we want to combine uh, selecting row one to five for MPG, uh, HP, and carburetor. Right, data one, right, row one to five. And let's say we want to select uh, MPG. So, we letak lah. C, MPG. And then uh, CYL, uh, HP. Eh? HP. And the last one is uh, carburetor. Right. So, it will select only three variables that we already specified, which is MPG, horsepower and carburetor for first five variables and uh, five observation right so this is one of the advantage of using uh, indexing lah. Uh, this is where you already learn how to use indexing at the first place kan so this is for uh, an a uh, single ob, uh, vector so this is for a data set right so let's say we want to select uh, select rows right of data one 
where it meet the condition MPG should be more than 20 and or MPG less than 14 right so we can use uh, uh, indexing and logical operator right so data one sorry this is data one data one um, MPG more than 20 or data one MPG less than uh, 14 but notice they is they give us the error why they give us the error because in a data frame right we need to specify for both row and column right so let's say i want to select a rows of data one i right? tell you row and data one the manner mpg more than 20 and mpg less than 40 so we should put a comma and select all rows our columns so it will select all columns and display only mpg more than 20 and less than 14 right <clears throat> so let's say uh, instead of um, selecting all the variables so i want to select the same fun uh, uh, same argument right but only display mpg and mpg cyl and uh, replacement lah the carburetor right so still same function right so i tunjuk kat bawah so bagi nampak and then the c this is a remember we have the first part is for rows with comma second part is column right so i want to select mpg uh, cyl and the last one is carburetor so it will show us the three variable that we have mentioned cyl mpg and carburetor for mpg more than 20 and mpg less than 14 right so this is a uh, base package so let's look at option number one option number two which is using the plier package right so the plier package we have one option name as filter so remember tadi kita dah tengok the plier package we already seen uh, rename rename function we also see uh, select function and now we are looking into filter function let's look at the documentation of filter always look the documentation for uh, each function that you want to use right so tadi nampak tak kat sini dia ada filter dia ada dua package dekat sini satu dalam uh, base package which is stat package and another one is the plier package so we want to use the plier package so look at the filter subset row using column values the filter function is used to subset the data frame retaining all rows that satisfy your condition right to be retained the row must be produced a true for all condition i remember kita dah belajar true and false in dalam conditional operator ataupun logical operator sorry right note that when the condition evaluates to an a an a means that a missing value the will the row will be dropped right so they can drop kan row yang ada ma so this is a, a function this is the argument which is the first one should be data our data frame and dot 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 means that the expression that return logical value logical operator more than less than equal equal not equal right so uh, they can combine with an operator only row for which all condition evaluate for true are keep means that yang mana sama dia akan letak yang false dia akan buang right this is good lah yang mana kita nak lah right so let's look at how to filter uh, let's see um, 
let's say I want to select select a rows with mpg more than 20 and a cyl ataupun uh, uh, mpg less than 14 yang tadilah sama kan kita tengok benda yang sama kan so we use filter data1 this is the argument the first argument should be data set and follows by our uh, logical operator which is more than 20 or mpg less than 14 right so it will show the same the same result lah so if you can see here this result and this result are same well i need this one yes right so now let's say let's look at another one let's say we want to select select rows uh, that have mpg more than 20 and cyl equal to 4 so remember cyl we have three level which is four cylinder six cylinder and eight cylinder of the car so we want to select a car that we have that have a four cylinders right and show mpg more than 20 saja so the same procedure filter data one mpg more than 20 and cyl equal equal to four so it will show mpg that uh, the car that have uh, mp miles per gallon more than 20 for four cylinders car only right or if you don't like to use n means that you nampak n macam uh, macam uh, apa nama macam sama macam base package juga so we can modify this one filter data one mpg more than 20 comma cyl equal to 4 so benda yang sama lah so instead of using n we can use comma to indicate n right so now what if I want to do like this? Means that this is based uh, on base package, right? So nampak serabut sangat lah. Okay, I took it macam ni. So nampak lebih organized. Alright. So I want to do like this means that I want to select MPG more than 20 or MPG less than 14 but I want to display only C MPG, CYL and carburetor only. Right? In this case by using single uh, function here they, it will show all the variable in the data set with the specific criteria again. So in the player package we can combine function under function. I remember last uh, lecture I bagi tahu dekat you we can combine logical indexing and logical operator together right same as uh, function we can combine function on function so for example let's say we uh, remember select function select function means that it will show you the variable it will select bar variable right so filter means we will select by the rows so we can combine select and filter together let's say we use the select uh, data one uh, filter so I use filter inside the data one um, so sekejap sebab filter function on function should be another function filter data one so inside the function data one so mpg more than 20 or mpg less than 14 so this is the end of function filter right this is the uh, the end of filter function so this still open for uh, select function right select function this is the data that we want to select Right. and then this is the uh, the next one should be the variable names let's say we want to select only mpg 
CYL and uh, horsepower lah so letak kat bawah so you boleh nampak kan so horsepower so it will shows the variable horsepower MPG and CYL for this condition MPG more than 20 and MPG less than 14 right so I think for both method I work well right this is a to select rows and column together right so both function are working well so you can need to choose which one you want to use right either you want to use a base package or you want to use using the plier package and you need to remember of course base package is more faster compared to the plier package because base package doesn't require and this is a uh, original package came with the R engine right so this is uh, using the plier, uh, the plier package lah right so if you think that this is a complicated uh, code you can do try do it traditionally step by step right but it require more coding lah so it's alternatively let's say we put this as df2 right filter we do it one by one lah uh, filter this one first right and store it into data at df2 and then df2 so we think of the names of df2 we have all variables inside so let's say i df2 i i, I select df2 uh, for mpg cyl and horsepower so i can display df2 benda yang sama lah but it require uh, more step right so more step and more uh, more you can understand the codes uh, easily lah yeah, by using step by step so at the beginning so for as a start you should do step by step right so to understand the coding so once you already understand the coding then you can combine the coding right okay or in R as I mentioned before, oops, as I mentioned before, you can use piping using piping to organize the codes. Right? Piping uh, is this, uh, this is a library, Margarita. In Margarita, library so the piping symbol is percentage more than percentage right percentage more than percentage this is the the symbol for piping right so if you look at this one compare right kalau you compare dekat sini the first one base package it look very complicated to understand right it require you a bracket so if you lose the bracket then you will not you will get error right so that's why the player came in because we want to reduce the making error of coding so that's why we have uh, some function known as filter and select so if you do select and filter together right so still it will you will make your uh, code more complicated lah. and sometimes you will uh, get an error when you forgot to put a bracket somewhere there and here and there lah. right so if you do like this alternatively right it require more data storage so this one you need to store to df2 second step you need to store again right third step baru you panggil if you have many uh, uh, let's say many steps so you can buat banyak banyak codes lah right? so that's why the piping comes into the idea to help you to organize the codes so let's say piping 
by using the prior uh, margarita package right so percentage more than percentage so you might wonder why uh, piping dekat sini lain piping dekat sini lain right piping dekat sini nanti i explain this is uh, for uh, adaptive uh, in r so i explain piping using margarita package so let's say we call data one so piping right means that from a data set one so kita akan pipe apa kita punya uh, selection procedure lepas selection procedure a filter procedure kita akan pipe lagi untuk selection procedure so this is a call piping lah so let's say filter uh, data uh, mpg more than 20 mpg less than 14 so notice that in this case i no longer call the data one macam dekat atas ni sebab it is it is understandable filter ni untuk data one boleh faham ah sebab that's why we call piping so piping dia mesti ada uh, dia punya way kan so let's say kita pipe this one so dia akan filter out lah uh, so but here we are selecting all variables right so if you want to select only mpg cyl and uh, this horsepower we did we need to do another piping select function mpg cyl and horsepower so it will do a selecting so if you want to show only head or first six observation you just put head function so it will show uh, first six observation so this is the useful or the the beauty of piping right so it organize your code in proper way and easy to understand so in future you can refer back to your code and you know what is this for right so this is for Margarita package right so as i mentioned before r is adapting the piping concept into the environment so the symbol instead of using percentage more than percentage you just use stroke more than this is base package but not much uh, development currently in this to use this one right so that's why uh, when I using this one, let's say data one, right? So I still want to use filter function, right? So I, let's say I want to use filter function. Filter function is from the plier package. So I just need to use the plier, the plier package, double dot, double dot. So it means that double dot, double dot means that you want to call filter function from the plier package double dot means that you want to call filter function from the plier package and put all the argument here mpg more than 20 or mpg less than 14 right so still same so the plier package select mvg uh, horsepower and cyl it will shows the same result lah. so if you want to call some first six observation right just put another pick another piping right so by using this piping you need to call the library for specific function if you are using margarita or the prior package you no need to call the library because it's understandable from this symbol this is from the prior pack and uh, this is from margarita package margarita package is from the prior package Boleh? is it okay 
Right, I just want to finish up. Uh, let's look at the next one, which is... This is number berapa eh? Number 7. Adding new column to into data frame. Right. So this is option one using base package. So to add a new column, let's say I am using uh, DF. Uh, remember tadi I dah buat DF kan? Dekat atas ni DF using rename function. Right? So, DF is a still uh, empty car pick, uh, data set. Right? So, DF, let's say I want to create a new variable. So, I just put dollar sign beside the variable uh, data set name and create a new variable. Let's say whatever variable names that you want. Let's say new variable new variable right so this is let's say um kita tengok empty cars empty car d mm, uh, weight weight in pounds right in thousand pounds so let's say we convert it to kilograms right kilograms uh, we need to divide by 2.2 .2, right so it became kilograms so let's say df weight divide by 2.2 .2, right so if you notice here dekat atas ni dim ds kita ada berapa 8 9 10 11 11 variable kan so now names df so we, we have 12 variable already because we already install and we already compute or create a new variables ataupun kita kata dekat sini this is um, so let's say this is a new variable this is adding a new column let's say i want to i want to remove this variable so df new variable just put null All right so if you call names of data as so it df right so it already remove the new variable right so let's say i want to create again so let's say this is a weight in kg right so if you call the name so you can, you can see lah weight in kg you can also um see the head of head of df Right, so it's already computed in uh, kilogram per thousand lah, per thousand. So this is uh, in per thousand pound. This is in per thousand kilos. Right? Okay. Boleh faham? Lah? So we can remove the variable by by clicking uh, by putting null value, or we can use indexing function. Remember indexing function. If you want to remove, you just put negative, negative sign. So let's say I want to remove uh, df, uh, remove remove weight underscore kilo. Oops. Um. Oh, I can put 12 dekat sini. So, dia akan buang lah. Kenapa tak boleh baca tadi? WT Kilo. Oh, yes. Oh, tak boleh. Sebab if you are you are specifying the names, you tak boleh letak itulah. So, you just... Oh, ya. Yeah. Kalau menggunakan nama ni, kita kena putting the Oh, tak boleh juga. It's okay. But we know that this one is working. 
negative 12 means that it will remove the variable number 12 or you can simply put null right okay so this is uh, creating a new variable using a uh, base package right so let's look at the second option option 2 based on the plier package right so let's say I want to create the same uh, variable instead of uh, the weight wd uh, weight underscore kilos right so I just want to use uh, the new name, name uh, the new name is um, let's say apple letter weight underscore kilo 2 right so by using the player package there is a uh, one function known as uh, mutate so let's look at the mutate function mutate means that create modify or delete function columns add new variables and preserve existing ones right another function is transmute add a new variable and drop existing ones uh, sama juga function dia lebih kurang sama so the function is the argument will be the first one is our data triple dot triple dot means that the argument uh, whether we want to create the, 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 the function that we want to create equation that we want to create the weight and divide by 2.2 is equal to uh, kilogram right so now let's look at this one let's say df so let's look at the names of df first what is what is the variable inside the df so we have 12 variables right including wt underscore kilos right so i want to create a new variable which, which is wt underscore kilo 2 so df mutate right so df this is the uh, the first argument which is our variable remember in in the player package if you look into rename rename function right the first one is your new names. The right hand side is the old names. Right? So, benda yang sama lah. Tapi, but this one we need to put the uh, the function. Which is, let's say, wt underscore kilo 2 equal to uh, wt divided by 2.2. Right? So, if you look at the names of df. So, kita ada create satu lagi variable names weight underscore kilo 2. Right? If you look at the head of df, so it will it will give us the same answer lah because we, this is the same formula. But, um, by using this, comparing with the uh, base package, it look like the same but it is more organized if you are using base pack uh, by uh the player package uh, lebih nampak kan if you understand this is a mutate you need to uh you going to create a new variable or you want to drop a new variable right okay boleh eh? so i think uh lagi okay, rehat sekejap uh, dalam 10 minit eh 5 minit lah kita 3.5 dah kan 5 minit dalam 3.35 kita sambung balik so we want to com uh, we want to bring this variable that we already created just now to the front means in the kita nak letak dekat depan right so ordering new variable uh, variable to the data frame remember tadi kita dah buat uh, if you still remember indexing right we can arrange the data arrange the variable variable kan macam ni contoh so we want to display mpg cyl and uh, displacement saja kan so we can do that as well. Let's say um, df uh, df sorry df all c. Let's say um, the name apa? Okay, wt underscore kilo two. All right, we need to specify one by one lah. All right, and then and followed by mpg followed by cyl and so on but this one is kind of uh, very messy um, 
kenapa ya Undefined column search specify. So which one undefined? So let's look at names. Names df. Um, we have mpg cyl. Yes. Yes, baru keluar. Okay, good. Sebab tadi mungkin saya salah tekan kot. Right, I tekan apa tadi eh? Um, Actually benda yang sama Mungkin okay, tertekan lain kan So So dia akan uh, Susun lah uh, Weight Kilogram MPG CYL But If you have a very long data Long variables Right Very uh, high dimensional data So it's kind of uh, Impractical to do that Right To so specify one by one Right So This is Impractical way right so let's say to 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 organize this one so we can firstly we define lah uh, we need to define uh, the column names column names column names let's say i start call n call n is the call names of the f right so first we need to define colon names right so next we're going to use this uh, column names and combine our knowledge on indexing and logical operator right together to select the variable right to organize the variable or to order the variable let's say we want to use a df right and then we use c so means that this is the variable that we want it to be in front right and next is we need to combine the the logical operator and indexing means that others than weight kg should be on the back on the uh, after weight underscore kg2 so it should be colon colon uh, not equal to wt Underscore kg2 Right So kalau kita nampak dekat sini Let's say I, I menggunakan this one K Right so nak lebih nampak kan So yang nampak dekat sini Weight underscore kg2 is Organized in front of Others variables And lain-lain variable semua dia duduk dekat belakang Right so this is uh, Very Hard to do and complicated to do Right sometimes you will make a mistake when you are doing uh, this kind of code this is based on option one base package right so another option that we can use is deploy a package right deploy a package so by using the deploy a package we can use a function select right select df Right, this is the variable uh, this data set and we specify our variable that we want to be in front and another argument uh, another others variable should be after wt underscore kg so there is another uh, function known as everything everything else duduk dekat belakang so this one duduk belakang lah let's say I tambah lagi satu uh, top So, benda yang sama. Right? So, I think by using the player package is more convenient compared to base package. Right? And of course, uh, if you're comparing, if you have a very large data, right? So, you want to do this subsetting data uh, and you need to consider your uh, computer performance, right? Processing hours. So, that is the uh, most important part. So, when you are you have very limited uh, processing power and very limited uh, random access memory physical ram so you should be use the base package because it's a little faster compared to uh, deployer package that's a different lah huh? so that's why you need to know both 
right? And you need to choose which one you want to use and which one is easier. So if you have very uh, small data, then can you, you can use the deployer package. If you have a very large data, so the advice is you should use base package, right? Base package means that you need to know, to, know, to master indexing logical operator and combine these two together. Right, you don't need to understand. Uh, you need to no need to remember others' function as well. Kalau you guna base package, you just need to master condition uh, ind uh, indexing and expression logical operators. That's all. So now let's say we want to remove column. Tadi kita dah belajar kan remove column. Um, remove column where is it? Uh, this one, right? So kalau uh, mutate means that we need we want to create a new column, kan? Uh, same as this one. So remove column means that kalau menggunakan uh, base function is uh, negative sign, right? Kalau kalau um, deployer package means select everything, everything, right? ataupun you can select. Um, You can remove lah, remove uh, df, uh, remove uh, wt underscore kilos 2. Right, so benda yang sama lah. So dia akan remove, right. So this is more organizable compared to uh, this one, right. So next, let's look at the next topic which is number 9. So I'm giving you a lot of uh, tips here. Uh, so basically, this is a fundamental uh, knowledge in subsetting data, right? So the problem might be more complicated if you have a real data, right? This is just an example. So how to do it, how to do this, or how to do that. Nanti kalau kita tengok example nanti, uh, then a bit complicated. Nanti next class, kita try tengok the real data set, how to subset and how to clean the data, right? So just now we already look at how to order the variable, right? Now how to order the rows or sorting, sorting rows, right? To sort row, right? Um, let's say kita tengok the first option, right? Base package. Let's say we want to sort MPG ascending order. Ascending order means that from the lowest value to the largest value, right? So let's say if you want to sort is uh, MPG in you know, ascending order, so we can use function order, right? So remember, you nampak kat sini dalam uh, R Studio bila you type order kat sini dia akan keluar curly bracket base means that this is from a base package right so you more faster compared to deployer package and then you need to put your selection variable which is mpg right and then remember this is a indexing criteria again okay? bracket square bracket is indexing criteria the first argument here is your row the second argument is your column Right, so this is we order the 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 variable lah, the 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 row. So from the smallest value to the largest value, right? Boleh? Eh? Benda yang sama juga. If you want to order um, you want to order the second one, ah, uh, which is a column. Eh? Benda yang sama juga. Eh? So let's say ada tak sini sikit tail. So, I nampak lah. This is uh, from the lowest to the largest. So, let's say we want to sort MPG descending orders. Right? So, DF curly break, uh, square bracket order DF MPG right? And comma. So, this is same as uh, ascending but what is the difference between um, this one and this one, it will produce the same output, which is ascending order, right? So to know how to do 
descending order so we need to look into the order documentation lah so order documentation says that order return permutation which rearrange its first argument into ascending or descending order so argue uh, for uh, uh, dia punya function argument here dot 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 means that the sequence of or logical operators right and a last is equal to true decreasing is equal to false what is the decreasing decreasing is a logical should be sort order b increasing or decreasing so dekat sini kalau decreasing false means that daripada besar eh, daripada kecil ke besar kalau decreasing is true means that daripada besar ke kecil from the largest to the smallest if decreasing is true so we need to put in this order function ni dalam ordering punya function juga kan decreasing is equal to true right so remember where 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 you want to place the argument or function uh, argument and function eh? so this is the complete function and argument for order and this is the complete function for indexing right that's why we have comma and select all variable so let's say i want to select i want to show only first six observation so we can see it ordering the mpg descending order so from the largest value to the lowest value so let's say you want to order uh, you want to sort uh, mpg ascending and Uh, let's say uh, apa lagi yang horsepower horsepower descending so you want to combine these two together right so same step df order we put uh, df mpg on ascending order right and we put uh, negative df horsepower so negative signs means that it will produce a descending order lah a positive you don't you don't have a negative sign means ascending order from the lowest value to the largest value negative df means descending order instead of uh, putting decreasing is equal to true so kalau kita letak decreasing is equal to true means that for the whole function ni dia akan descending order but we are want to mix this sorting ascending and descending right and then we put this one select all and show some variable let's say uh, some observation let's say uh, 10 lah okay now you can see mpg is on ascending order from lowest value to the largest value and horsepower is from largest value to the lowest value let's say i tunjuk sini senang sikit bagi nampak kan the focus saja so mpg and horsepower right so nampak tak mpg is from the lowest value to the largest value horsepower from the lowest value to the, eh, from the largest value to the lowest value right so dia akan mix up lah right tapi the 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 point is from the lowest to And from the largest to the lowest from the largest to lowest from the largest to lowest right so this is how uh, sorting by using base package let's look at uh, sorting option 2 deployer package right so sorting Oh, I punya mouse yang merata-rata dah pergi. Right. Sort MPG ascending order. Right. So, in the player package, there is one other function known as arrange. Right. So, arrange. Arrange. So, let's look at the documentation. Arrange order rows of data frame by the values of selecting columns. Right. So, let's look at this one. ok 
Okay, dia kata punya agreement dia. First is data. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot means that uh, variable, function variable, descending or ascending order. Right? So, let's say we want to arrange uh, DF. Right? So, MPG in ascending order. Right? So, it will arrange DF and uh, MPG in ascending order lah. Right? So, this is just uh, very simple and easy to understand lah. Right? You know what? Huh? From lowest value to the largest value, MPG. If you want to arrange sort MPG descending orders. So, arrange DF negative MPG. Uh, sorry, no. We cannot use negative DMPG. Uh, we should use DESC. Macam tadi dia bagi tahu. DESC represent um, represent descending, right? Nampak sini dia bagi tahu. DESC to sort the variable in descending order, right? Okay, so that's why I use descend a DSC MPG to shows and is descending order. You know what? From the low, uh, uh, largest value to the smallest value. And we can combine these together. Sort MPG ascending and uh, to give a horsepower descend descending orders. So arrange the F. Uh, MPG DSC horsepower right so hit face 10 observation right so you nampak dekat sini benda yang sama MPG is from lowest to the largest and horsepower from the uh, largest to the lowest so kalau kita tengok dekat sini and this one and this one is produce the same value right but you need to know the priority of the sorting. So the first one is the priority followed by the second one. Same as other uh, uh, programming language, Python or SPSS or Excel. The first one is your priority. The second one is your uh, uh, following uh, orders. Lah. Right? Okay. So, I think that's all for today. I have uh, just a little more, but uh, I think we 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 keep it on the next class. We keep it on next class so we can see uh, the next one, which is transmute. So, this is a mutate. Right, if you will see the muted uh, the documentation, so they have two function kasini, muted and transmute. Right, so this is uh, homework lah. I give you a homework. Find find uh, how to use transmute function so I have to use uh, first one transmute function another one is uh, subsetting categorical data right so this is two simple tasks to you right before we Came, uh, come into the next uh, class, right? So, next time I will show it to you. But um, this one, I want you to, to find it and make a note, right? Or maybe you need to make a video demonstrate how to use transmute and subsetting categorical variable, right? Categorical variable means that, uh, let's say, if you still remember last class on the second class, right? Kita buat uh, categorical data, male, female, and as factor, right? Remember? So, let's say I have combination of uh, very messy data 
uh, for example macam ni kan contoh I tunjuk dekat you let's say let's say this one right so I have very messy data let's say gender so kalau kita tengok dekat sini dia ada banyak data FM will represent female capital F uh, female small letter uh, just F ni campur-campur F E small letter M huruf besar A huruf besar L huruf kecil E huruf kecil right so this is a very not a good data right so I want you to organize this data subsetting the data and make it all this as uh, female including woman and right? other than that is male right so you need to show a video demonstrating this one so it can be your project as well presentation right so practice by now to show how to do it right so you need to submit your video uh, together with the task that I already put into Google Classroom. Where is it? So, dalam Google Classroom ni, I dah satu exercise subsetting data. Right, uh, let me open this one. This is the data. Right, so this is the exercise that you need to do. Let me see whether you can do it now or not. True upper, yes, correct. Reorder, okay. Uh, you can complete this data by today. So you need to submit this data, uh, this uh, this exercise before 11:59 p.m. today, together with your, together with your demonstration on uh, transmute function and subsequent subsetting category data. This is you need to you need to put uh, a note on how to solve this one, and you need to demonstrate in a video, a very short video, five minutes. And that's going to be very maximum length of uh, that video. Okay. Any questions so far before we end our session? No, sir. Right. So, I think that's all. Yes, video pun sebelum 11.59. So, ada banyak masa lagi lah. Don't worry. Very short video. Right. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.